Guys, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to expand your business like I do, and you're not using LinkedIn to find people and expand your network, you're sleeping. I'll just share what I did and how it helped me. And maybe you can apply that to your own industry. It all started when I removed the logo from our bottom plate, right? Customers can put rubber feet on all four corners. So then I was, once a speaker is on here, this is hidden. Our branding's gone. That branding's gone. So I decided to reach out to Auralex. In every major recording studio or home studio, there's some kind of acoustic treatment made by these guys. They've been in the industry since 1977. So anyway, I reached out to the founder of Auralex because he happened to be in my network on LinkedIn. I was looking for some advice. How important has it been for Auralex's success to have the branding always on the front? He said, I think that having one's brand front and center is important. Perhaps develop a Soundrise logo type badge and put it on the face of the front lip. He said, you should contact my CEO to see if there's a fit that Auralex might exploit. But I have seen some of our customers use a foam pad in between Soundrise and their speakers. You see that example right there? A couple of days later, I set up a phone call with his CEO and we talked about a possible top uh, piece right here, form fitted, made by Auralex and maybe we can have like a mutually beneficial partnership um, and see where that goes. You guys realize that if I go to the RLX headquarters right now and, and go to the reception desk and ask to speak with the CEO because I have a question about branding, they'll be like, do you have an appointment? I mean, he's busy. Hey, maybe nothing will come out of this, but it's a next step. It's an exciting next thing to do and that's what entrepreneurship really is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take like a piece of cardboard like this and try to fashion some kind of a custom top prototype that I could send to Dave at Auralex and see what he thinks. And I'll keep you guys updated. So uh, let's go make that now. like this kind of content I'm not gonna tell you what to do version one is form-fitted to fit the Soundrise Pro but the second version is more generic to fit the Soundrise Pro as well as all five inch monitors I think sending both of these to RLX is a good idea to start the conversation and see where it goes from there and just to remind you guys I didn't even think about this it was just a message on LinkedIn to get some advice on something which led to a possible opportunity. So maybe that should be a reminder of uh, all the possibilities there are on LinkedIn that you guys can take advantage of. I will let you go, but if you have any ideas on possible collaborations with Soundrise and these Oralex guys, leave them in the comments. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll see you in the next video. Hell yeah. <laughs>